I've talked about a group called Patriot Front before, but it's been a while. They're back in the news because they marched on Washington, D.C., and a bunch of people didn't seem to think it was real, surprisingly. I've been following them for a long time, so I figured we'd take a look at the group, their origins, beliefs, and ideals. Buckle up. It gets disturbing. Let's get into it. This is Luca Corgiot with Media to Rise, kicking off the live updates for today. We are currently in the back of a box truck. There is a caravan of box trucks heading to Washington, D.C., where Patriot Front is going to be marching, demonstrating, and giving uh, some speeches from Thomas Rousseau. Reclaim America! Reclaim! Is that legal? Riding in the back of a box truck? Bizarre. I don't recognize this guy specifically, but I do know Thomas Rousseau. This is him. He's the leader of Patriot Front. As I said, I've been watching this group for a while. The first I heard of them was from this news article about a George Floyd statue erected in Brooklyn, New York. I know, New York Post is basically trash, but even trash news outlets have the occasional useful article. Anyways, the article basically says that the George Floyd statue was unveiled in Brooklyn, New York during a Juneteenth celebration. It was defaced overnight with white nationalist graffiti. It was a six-foot-tall bust on Flatbush Avenue. The words Patriot Front were painted across the inscription. That's when I knew I had to check this group out. It's definitely an extremist group that's been rearing their ugly head in recent days. But bizarrely, some people still don't believe it's even real. How come they're all wearing the same clothes? Do that again. What the fuck is this? Is that, have you ever seen anything that looks more like feds? Tell me that doesn't look like feds. Right? It's like the 101st Airborne. Bro, look at this. These guys are all runners. These guys look like they just got out of buds. I mean, look, the they, fuck out of here. They could be real. Right. They could be they real. Could, they could be real. Listen, Matt Taibbi, I'm an unreliable source and I'm a comedian. <laughs> but looking at that, I'm calling bullshit. Without any investigation, he unilaterally decides it's bullshit. That's pretty typical of Joe Rogan's style. Sure, he's a comedian. He's even said you shouldn't take him seriously. In his own words, quote, I'm a fucking idiot, unquote. I get that. I'm on board. The problem is that he has an audience of millions, and they don't know that. Even when he says it to their face, they don't believe it. So who is Patriot Front? Back in 2016, there was a Unite the Right rally held by a group called Vanguard America. This is where Heather Heyer was killed. Literal Nazis. No hyperbole. Truly evil people. For the more politically engaged, this is the protest that Trump described as having good people on both sides. Thomas Rousseau, the leader of Patriot Front, was there. As a matter of fact, he was a member of Vanguard America. Originally, Rousseau was the Texas leader of Vanguard America, but the national leader, Dylan Hopper, felt like he was giving everybody the impression that he was the national leader in a speech Rousseau gave in Austin, Texas. In 2017, the group split and Thomas Rousseau became the leader of a new group, Patriot Front. Two days after the Austin rally, Rousseau started the takeover of the servers and the bloodandsoil.org website. FYI, a lot of this information is coming from the Anti-Defamation League website, so if you want to read more about it, I'll leave a link in the description. When the takeover started, Dylan Hopper, the national leader of Vanguard America, tweeted, quote, On June 20th, Thomas Rousseau underhandedly and deceitfully exiled me from all Vanguard Discord servers that he controlled due to security reasons. I logged off, and when I got back an hour later, Later, I was banned from every single server, including the women's server. It was literally a coup with the guys that I left to handle family matters." End quote. Thus, Patriot Front was formed. The group is based in Texas, but they have cells all over the place. Obviously, even in New York City and Washington, D.C. After the takeover of Vanguard America, Thomas Rousseau rebranded the bloodandsoil.org website as the new Patriot Front website. It's an anti-Semitic and Islamophobic group. Here's an example of some propaganda they've been posting on and around college campuses. They use the term Zog a lot, which stands for Zionist Occupied Government. And they've been known to use this propaganda a lot too. 14 words, one nation. 14 words, of course, is a reference to the speech given by a certain German dictator from the 1940s. Quote, we must secure the existence of our people and a future for white children, end quote. The fact that they were promoting the 14 words tells me they agree with the sentiment. It's an extremely concerning group. We should be concerned about their rise to popularity. On November 11th, 2017, the Patriot Front Twitter account tweeted, quote, the international Jewish community has an undeniable predominant role in assisting and promoting the 
factions that most viciously attack the moral and ethical foundations of America and in eroding the financial bulwarks against globalism. End quote. A high-ranking member of the group tweeted this on November 25th, 2017. Train hard, gents. The enemies of white America are always looking for weaknesses. Show them nothing but strength and malice. You get the idea. When I started looking into them, the first place I went was to their website, and I found this recruitment video. Before we continue, I wanted to mention something. If you like what I do and you want to see me continue to do it, you can support me in a few ways. First, there's Patreon. That's probably the best way. But if you want to get something back for your support, you can check out my Teespring or my Etsy shop. I sell all kinds of cool stuff on Etsy, including cartridge, box, and controller stands for every game system, from the original Nintendo to the PlayStation 4. So give it a look. You might find something you like. Let's keep watching. When I started looking into them, the first place I went was to their website, and I found this recruitment video. This video is the definition of propaganda. If you ever wondered what propaganda looked like, this is it right here. The music is intended to get your blood pumping, get you excited, angry. They're also using populist language, a message that the majority of the US can agree with. It doesn't say anything overtly racist or anti-Semitic. They're just saying that Wall Street controls the country and they wanna take it back. No big deal, right? That's why this kind of thing is so insidious. Let's keep watching. More populist language, but if you notice, there's some stuff flashing by. What did it say? They're dropping a sign over Stand Against Hate. Who could disagree with a message like Stand Against Hate? Seriously. Here's another. They're dropping a sign over a Black Lives Matter billboard. Their sign says, The United States is no longer of America. Now we're on our own. PatriotFront.us. They're obviously obsessed with withdrawing the consent of the governed, as they said earlier. There's this idea floating around in libertarian circles that the government only exists through the consent of the governed. If the governed ever decided to withdraw their consent, they could abolish the government completely. That's the basis for the extremist group known as the Three Percenters, too. They claim that it would take only 3% of the country to turn on the government to successfully abolish it. The U.S. is made up of about 330 million people. 3% of that is about a million. The U.S. Army has about 1.4 million active duty troops and 850,000 reserve and National Guard troops. So 3% would probably get them in the ballpark. That's concerning. We should all be concerned. Let's keep watching. There's Thomas Rousseau. He's extremely charismatic. People are drawn to him. They want to hear him speak, which describes a lot of cult leaders throughout history. And believe me, if something were to qualify as a cult, it would be this group right here. Let's keep watching. I guess the overarching point of the last clip is that they have cells in pretty much every state across the U.S., including Washington, D.C. Well, in early December 2021, they staged a demonstration in D.C. They marched on the Lincoln Memorial in battle fatigues, wearing masks, surprisingly. Most conservatives refuse to wear masks, even when they're breaking into the U.S. Capitol, like on January 6th. They could have hidden their identity a lot more efficiently if they weren't so diametrically opposed to wearing masks, but whatever. These guys seem to have it figured out.
They're organized and operate like a military. That's the impression they want to give us, and it's the impression they want to give their active members. They want complete, undying allegiance to the cause. They have the occasional hiccup and make themselves look like fools. Like the time they held a march in Pennsylvania on the eve of July 4th. They were chased off by the members of the town, and they threw smoke bombs behind them to cover their retreat. But think of this stuff as dry runs. Yes, they failed miserably in Pennsylvania, but they were just practicing. Same with their most recent appearance in Washington, D.C. They showed up in box trucks, and they left in box trucks. The same way they'd raid a city in a real-life battle zone. But this one went sideways. Some of them got stranded because apparently they didn't have enough box trucks for the trip. I just hope it doesn't come to the point where they decide the practice is over and it's time to really fulfill their original goals. I don't know exactly what their goals are. I can't imagine they state them openly, but this is a threat we should be concerned about. We should be paying attention to what's happening with this group right now. I'm 95% sure the FBI is already keeping an eye on things. That's kind of their job, but we should at least be aware of who it is and what they have in mind and denying it isn't helping anybody. How come they're all wearing the same clothes? Do that again. What the fuck is this? Is that, have you ever seen anything that looks more like feds? <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look like feds. Right? It's like the 101st Airborne. Bro, look at this. These guys are all runners. These guys look like they just got out of buds. I mean, look, the they, fuck out of here. They could be real. Right, they could be they real. Could, they could be real. Listen, Matt Taibbi, I'm an unreliable source, and I'm a comedian. <laughs> but looking at that, I'm calling bullshit. They are very real. It only takes the most cursory amount of research to realize. Anyways, that's all I've got for you. Thanks for watching, guys.